Hey, have you had a Chapter 7 discharge within the last couple years? If you have, then you may find this video interesting. What I'd like you to do is to pull your credit reports, and you can do that through annualcreditreport.com. And we recently did a video on how, at least up until about uh, April 2021, you can use Annual Credit Report to pull your credit reports free once per week. So I suggest that you do that. So pull your credit reports. Well, what are you looking for? Well, let me give you an example. Let's say you filed bankruptcy in January 2019, Chapter 7 bankruptcy, and by June 2019, you received a discharge. Usually it's a little before that, but let's just say June. So you look at your credit reports and you find every account that you included in bankruptcy. And I'm not talking about stuff that's non-dischargeable. You know, a lot of times student loans you can't, but you know, credit cards, other things. And, and look and see, okay, from when I filed bankruptcy in January up until the discharge, did they report me as being late? Did they say, well, you were 30 days late in January, now you're 60 in February, 90 in March? They shouldn't be doing that because normally when you file bankruptcy, everything should just stop, including your credit reporting. Well, then the maybe the more important thing is after the discharge, so in my example, remember you filed in January 2019, received a discharge in June 2019. What about afterwards? Are they reporting a balance other than zero? Are they saying every month after June 2019 that you were late, that you're 30 days late, that you're 90 days late, whatever it is? Are they showing that? Are they showing that you have a scheduled payment due on a debt that's been discharged? Because let's think about it. If your debt is discharged, it's wiped out, it's hard to be late on something that you don't owe anymore. It's hard to have a payment due on a debt that you don't owe. Okay? And it's hard to have a balance when truly the balance is zero. So I'd like you to check this out and then let me know. Okay, You can get in touch with me through my website, alabamaconsumer.com. There's a contact us button there. And just let me know because here, here's the reason I'm asking this. Back in about... 2006, maybe seven, eight, that three year time period, we probably sued 200 companies for this exact thing. Bankruptcy, got a discharge, and then, then they reported a balance, okay? And sometimes other things, late payments after that. And so we'd sue them because that's against the law. Now, there's different ways to sue them. You can sometimes sue under bankruptcy law, sometimes under Fair Debt Collection Practices Act if it's a debt collector, but you can also do a dispute through the credit bureaus, and then when it doesn't get fixed, then you sue under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And so we did all those lawsuits, and then we really noticed a stop to it. And then there were some class action settlements where the credit bureau said, oh, we're cleaning things up. You know, we can tell when you have a bankruptcy, we'll make sure none of this stuff, we're starting to see it again. And I would like to know, just from all you guys that are watching this, what are you seeing on your own reports? Are you seeing this? And I'd like to know to sort of compile a list of, okay, which companies are doing this? What are they doing? Are they showing the late payments after discharge? Are they showing a balance? Have you disputed it through the credit bureaus? What's going on? So we're just in an information gathering phase right now, and it'll be very useful for you. I'm assuming if you're still watching this video, you have a bankruptcy discharge in the last couple of years, check out your credit reports. Now, I will say this, we like to give them about 60 days from discharge, to sort of get things correct, okay? So I wouldn't necessarily, you know, get the discharge today and you dispute it tomorrow and then you're looking to sue. I mean, you can dispute it and you can go ahead and pull it through annualcreditreport.com, but I'm really interested in once there's about 60 days after your discharge, what are your reports showing? So hope that that's helpful to you and I look forward to hearing from you and feel free to subscribe to our channel and also check out our other videos. Okay. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.